Hi, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Wakal Kudash. I double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and taught us this truth and real well. And peace and blessings to the elect of Israel out there that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. I right, this, uh, this video is going to be about the chariots of the Most High, which are, you know, so-called UFOs uh, known you know, throughout the world. You know. People think that they're aliens or something. Like that. <laughs> but uh, that's that's off, you know, it's, it's really just uh, the, it's, it's all good. Uh, it's really just the uh, angels of the Most High, you know, it's the vehicles of the angels. You know. We're going to break it down according to the scriptures. Uh, uh, this Second Kings 2 and 11, and it came to pass as they still went on and talked that behold, they appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Yeah, so a whirlwind took him up. You know, this is how the uh, prophets were describing him being taken up by uh, one, one of those so-called UFOs. You know, but it really is a chariot. There are angels taking him up into heaven. God. You know, and, and there are other uh, uh, prophets that, that did that. Uh, uh, even Yahweh Shai did that, you know, after he was dead and came alive again, and he was with the uh, apostles for, what was it, like 40 days, I think, and then, uh, and then he got taken up by the chariots. Oh. And then, yeah. Acts. It's Acts 1 and 9, and when he had spoken these things, where they beheld, he was taken up. And a cloud receive him out of their sight. Yeah, a cloud. They they're known as clouds, chariots. Uh, um, what what's some other names in the Bible? Whirlwind. Uh, yeah, whirlwind. Uh, a flying roll. Yep. Um, you know, but but a cloud took them up out of their sight. Mainly it's clouds, you know. Yeah. Uh, verse ten. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them, and while they pale, which also said, "Ye men of Galilee, why stand up? Why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai was just taken up from you into heaven. Shall shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven?" Right. So I mean, when this happened. All the people were, were in awe and like just standing around looking up like in shock that a chariot had, had picked them up okay. right and then the angels were like hey don't freak out about this kind of thing because you should know that when he comes back he's coming in this manner he's coming with these chariots you know he's coming with his uh, 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 army of hosts you know the Lord of hosts that's what host means is an army uh, you know these thousands and thousands of angels you, know? uh, you got something up? Uh, I have a quick one. Go ahead. This on uh, Psalms 104 3. Who laid the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who make it the clouds his chariot? <laughs> right. Uh, who, yeah. who walk upon the wings of the wind? Yeah, and so, <laughs> you know, they're flying. Right. He makes his, the clouds his chariots. You know, he, he makes these uh, things in the sky his vehicle. Right, man. You know, they say that in Daniel 7 and 9, man, you know. Let me get that real quick, huh? Yeah, go ahead. This Daniel 7 and 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. And this uh the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, whose, whose, whose garment was white as snow, in the head of his head, like the prayer wool. Yeah, jump down a little. I think it's after the description. Of it. It's right here. Uh, it's in okay. the same verse. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheel is burning fire. Right. His wheels are burning fire. Because, like, when you see him, uh, uh, you know, they, they, they also, uh, a pillar of fire. That's how they describe yeah, them, too. Pillar of fire, because yeah. they're, they're lights. You know, God. that's describing the lights on them. God. You know, uh, uh, I think it's in Ezekiel when he, when it's talking about like the amber, uh, amber color of it. Yeah, Ezekiel first chapter. Let me get that real quick. Yeah, this is Ezekiel one and one. When it's like Ezekiel one and four, 
And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud and a fire, and floating itself, and a brightness was about it. And out of the midst thereof is the color of amber out of the midst of the fire. Yeah. So, I mean, that that's like the color of it. You know, they got different colors, not just amber. Right. Yeah, they'll be blue. But the lights are described as fire because they didn't have, you know, electricity, you know, running around in, in the uh, uh, ancient days. Right, man. That, and that's why um, uh, the Israelites were led out of Egypt by the means of a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Carl, I got that right quick. Baby. <laughs> this is Psalm 7, 8, and 14. In the daytime, also he led them with a cloud, which is the chariot, the so-called yeah. UFOs. And th they'll be disguised as clouds sometimes. Yeah, man. Like, like the, they'll kind of look like a mini planet, you know, in the in the middle of like a, a cloud, you know, with, with like the ring around it, you know. With like stars. Hey, yeah. I be seeing so-called UFOs, you know, oh, all yeah. the time, man, at night, especially at night. They're, they're popping up a lot recently. Come like on, we man. saw, like I've seen at least three in the past five days like man. each night I like see, three a night i said i seen more than three this whole just this week man yeah that's Shit. what i'm saying like the minimum of each of these like past four days each night has the minimum has been three. but you tell, try to tell somebody that so-called ufos are real they look at you strange like you bug out mm -hmm. like no man these are real this is the heavenly father man like yeah. come on now and then once they see them, once you know they come back. Matter of fact, that's in Revelation. Uh, they just like uh, Esau, the so-called white man. Like he put all this money in NASA. He got a space force, a space force. You know, they, he ain't spent all this money for no reason, man. Hey, the Lord is on his way back, man. You know, you got to. Yeah, this is a uh, Revelation one and seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Clouds. And, and they shall. And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so, amen. He said, every eye, we got one more time out, slack. Yeah. Uh, Behold, he cometh with clouds. Which are the chariots, which are which is Molokov in the Hebrew. Go ahead. And every eye shall see him. Every eye shall see him. Go ahead. And they also which pierced him. 2,000 years ago. So the ones that crucify our Lord, going to see him, man. That means we reincarnated. We are back in the flesh, because that's what we incarnated mean, man. Huh. So for you so-called Christians to say, this is another topic, but like it, for you so-called Christians to say that we incarnated and not biblical, explain that <laughs> then. <laughs> Go ahead, huh? And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so, amen. Come on, man. So that, that's talking about when he's coming back with the chariots. Everybody's yep. going to see him, and they're going to be bugging out because they think, you know, Aliens are driving them, or, or it's the Russians, or some weird shit. Yeah. You get that in uh, Second Ezra, we like a man. Yeah, this is uh, Second Ezra uh, 13 and 6. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. <laughs> Ooh, flew upon it. You mean to say he flew upon a mountain? No, he flew upon his chariot, man. You know, Jake loves to style, man. He loves to show off, man. That's the ultimate Jake right here, man. He flexing, man. And, and he's got that ultimate vehicle, man. Right, man. Come, come like, on, it's man. Because, you know, a lot of confusion of face jakes down here in the south, they like to get those big trucks, jack them, jack them up really high, put the light bars on them, the underglow, right. the interior lights. Want to show off, man. Yeah. You know, custom painted, like, everything. Like, come. revved up engines. Hey. You know, take the mufflers <laughs> off just so they're louder. You think your house shot's coming back? Like, <laughs> like in... in just by himself no he's he's got his pimped out ride he's coming back to do business oh uh, another man. thing too to uh customize cars like like um uh, like um militarized uh vehicles uh, you know big tanks with the big guns turrets on them and stuff yeah it's saying isaiah 47 3 i would not meet thee as a man man our lord is the ultimate jake man he coming back he gonna be flying on top of his chariot man you know Okay. But I would have seen the region or place where out he the hill was graven, and I could not. Hey, <laughs> you can't even be able to see. You can't tell one end where to start, where to begin it. That's how big the chair is going to be, man. Come on. Uh, if you watch the uh, opening scene to uh, Spaceballs, 
uh, they, there's like a uh, spacecraft that like you know takes up like 15 minutes of the uh, beginning of the movie just because it's so long <laughs> God, but that, that's how uh, yeah how shy is gonna be you know he said he was trying to see the end of the mountain that he flew upon and he couldn't that's why it looked like a mountain is because it looked like it yep, was in the horizon God, it's part of the horizon yeah I know it's coming back man <laughs> Hey, we don't finish this uh, Psalm 7, 8, 4. You guys more on that? Um, I mean, it goes into, you know, mm, the strong. Yeah, I'll, I'll just jump down to verse 10. Okay. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire. Blast of fire out of his mouth. Those don't laser beams, man. He said that, um, I'm, I'm going to get it. But it say, uh, that the laser beam, he going to be being people to paddle man when he come back you yeah. know and out of his lips a flaming breath and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempest uh, and they were all mixed together a blast of fire the flaming breath and the great tempest and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burnt them up every one so that upon a sudden uh, of an innumerable num uh, multitude Nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. Uh, uh, when when I saw this, I was afraid. Uh, so, hey, <laughs> jumped on second verse sixteen and eleven. All right, but yeah, man. He said like he said this innumerable multitude was just couldn't be perceived after he uh, hit him with that uh, flaming breath fire and, and tempest yeah, that's that laser beam man. yeah and if you know that that word tempest is like a, a storm like lightning and stuff imagine lightning being like fueled with fire and stuff sparks and like all that into one like it's it's a laser beam basically <laughs> it's a laser beam <laughs> uh and 11 second edge 16 and 11 uh, okay this is second edge 16 and 11 the lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder Ooh. at his presence? Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man, these, these chariots are going to be something else when they come, man. God, like, man. When, when they actually start showing themselves. Because right now, you know, they're high up, and they'll, they're, they're only seen for, like, a split second. Yeah. You know, but imagine imagine what the, the fathership looked like. Uh, you know, I probably wasn't the fathership, but imagine what the ship looked like leading uh uh, Israel out of Egypt. Right, God. You know, the other nations must have been shitting themselves. Because that's how uh, the Most High got the nickname al which it means a uh, uh, demon-like demon -like power. God, man. Because you see this huge spacecraft, you know, especially in the ancient world where they didn't really have technology like that. They just saw this huge spacecraft hovering over uh, this, this big group of people, you know, walking in the wilderness, you know, taking care of them. Right. And then everybody was hearing of the stories of how Egypt got fucked up with plagues, spiritual plagues too, uh, not not just like you know a famine. It was like like unexplainable stuff going on. Like if you read the Plague of Darkness uh, and Wisdom of Solomon, the either seventh chapter or seventeenth chapter, I can't remember which one, but it's like demon-like power. Uh, like the, <laughs> Okay, finish this Psalm 7, 8, 14. In the daytime also he led them with a cloud and all the night with the light of fire. Okay, man. Uh, you know? No, I think I think we nailed it with those scriptures. Alright, God. Oh, yeah, yeah. This Isaiah 47. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, this is Isaiah 47 and 3. That nakedness should be uncovered. Yeah, the shame should be seen. Yeah, which is talking about America. You right. know, these Edomites, they're, how they're doing, uh, you know, their power is in, in secrecy. But their their nakedness is uh, being seen right now. Okay. You know, we're lifting up the skirt on, on, on uh, you know, the virgin daughter Babylon. Right, man. God, I would take vengeance and would not meet this man. Right. So when he's coming back, he's not coming in that... Uh, uh, same body that that you put him put him to death in, you know. God. He's coming at in that uh, uh, celestial body, oh, you know. God. Because the, uh, what's that scripture? There there be uh, bodies celestial and bodies terrestrial. Uh, I can quote it. Up. 
Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. But the point is, is that, you know, he, he's coming in that new body. Okay. Verse 4. If for our Redeemer, the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Um, you know, Yahweh of hosts. Oh. You know, the Lord of hosts. You know, that word host means army. You know, yeah. the, the, you know that scripture that says the most high is a man yeah, how was you born, thinking that God too, of How was you thinking that? It's this, uh, Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord Yahweh is a man of war. The Lord Yahweh is his name. Come. So <laughs> Yahweh, he's a man of war. Come, man. Nobody can war like the most high. You know? They, they got uh, uh, what you call uh, military science. Okay. You know, they, they learned all that stuff from Jake's. You know, Jake was the one that created camo and stuff. Okay. Yeah, the Most High is going to get busy. We're about to close out. We're about to close out. Yeah. All right, uh, so uh, with that, I hope this video is edifying. And, uh, uh, you know, once again, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Vakar Kodash. Alright, and uh, Shalom. Alright, Shalom.